Welcome once again to the September edition of AJP Heart and Circulatory Physiology Video Table of Contents or From the Editor's Desk. It's been a busy summer in the Northern Hemisphere, but we're looking forward to an even more active fall and winter, especially in the publishing world. This month we have published three review articles, 31 original research papers, including one rapid report and one editorial focus article. I'm sure you will be anxious to look over the entire table of contents and read what interests you the most. But here's a sample. Dewey et al. investigated the role of mitochondrial DNA and mitochondria in the pathophysiology of cardiac rupture in the post-MI mouse model. They analyzed the protein twinkle helicase in this process by examining mice that overexpressed twinkle. Twinkle overexpression reduced cardiac myopathy at 28 days post-MI. Overexpression prevented cardiac rupture and improved survival. This was accompanied by a decrease in MMP2 and MMP9 expression in the border zone. These results show that twinkle overexpression alleviated impaired mitochondrial biogenesis in the border zone area through maintained mitochondrial DNA and reduced MMP expression in the border zone. Cannon et al. investigated the effects of short-term high-intensity interval training and moderate-intensity continuous training on right ventricular glucose and fat metabolism. Subjects performed six cycle ergometer training sessions within two weeks. Insulin stimulated right ventricular glucose uptake and fasted state right ventricular free fatty acid uptake were measured by PET scanning. Cardiac function was measured by MRI. Right ventricular glucose uptake decreased after high intensity exercise training, but fatty acid uptake was not affected. Only two weeks of physical training in previously sedentary subjects induced changes in right ventricular glucose metabolism, volumes, and ejection fraction, which preceded exercise-induced hypertrophy of the right ventricle. In an interesting study by Poon and co-workers, the role of spinal cord nitric oxide on sympathetic outflow was investigated. The authors hypothesized that NOS1 and NOS2 differentially regulated sympathetic and adrenal function. NOS1 and 2 were located in different cellular components. Intrathecal administration of the NOS1 antagonist 7NI reduced arterial pressure, heart rate, and sympathetic tone. Conversely, S-methylthiourea, a NOS2 antagonist, increased arterial pressure, heart rate, and sympathetic outflow. Adrenalectomy increased the responses to 7NI but reduced the responses to S-methylthiourea. This study points to the important role of the spinal cord in the molecular modulation of sympathetic outflow. Lee et al. studied the extent of basal calcium calmodulin-dependent protein kinase 2 activation and the role of basal cam kinase 2-dependent protein phosphorylation in the generation of submembrane local calcium release from the ryanodine receptors in rabbit sinoatrial node cells. High basal cam kinase 2 activation modified the phosphorylation state of calcium cycling proteins, phospholamban, ryanodine receptor, and L-type calcium channels, adjusting local release period and characteristics in cardiac pacemaker cells. In a review by Baum and Bigler, the importance of capillary basement membrane thickening in skeletal muscle in the vascular remodeling process is reviewed and discussed. A discussion of morphometric techniques and the role of type 4 collagen is also discussed. The review has relevance for a wide variety of human diseases. Dorr et al. review the role of left ventricular twist in development and in adults. This review shows how the use of speckle tracking echocardiography can be useful in the physiological implications of left ventricular twist. Thank you for watching this edition of From the Editor's Desk. For those of you who frequently publish in our journal, and for those contemplating submitting a paper, please take another look at the instructions to authors, as guidelines have recently been updated. I hope to see you again next month, and in the meantime, send us your best work now.